Hello beautiful people and welcome back again to OnHow channel. For people who doesn't know, my name is Anas and I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people who don't know, well, you already know. So you know what to do if you have any questions, drop them below. I will be happy to make a video for you too. And in this video, I will show you how to hide a section only on the desktop for your Shopify store. I made a similar video earlier, which is how to hide the section on the mobile. So if anyone access the Shopify store on the mobile, that section will not be there anymore. But I got some requests, make a video on how to hide the section this time on the desktop. So anyone who accessed the Shopify store from the desktop, that section will not be uh, visible anymore. And this trick will work for every Shopify team. As you can see here, I have the latest down version, uh, which is where I do the trick. I will do it in down team, but all the tricks on my channel, I actually try them on all of the free teams. I have all of them here. Uh, the most famous free ones, I use them. I use the trick on them to make sure that it works for them as well. But this one right here, it's a little bit different because this one will work for every Shopify even, even the paid ones, if you paid for a Shopify team, this trick will work for you. And by the way, if you paid for Shopify team, you should ask for the support, not me. You should ask the support that you paid, not me. I didn't get paid yet, so <laughs> let's just quit talking and let's just get to it. So obviously the first thing you're gonna do is access Shopify dashboard. Then click on the customize button right here and it will take you to the team customizer. So the first thing you're going to do or the second thing you're going to do is make sure to find the section you want to hide on the desktop. So let's just scroll down and pick a section from here. Let's just go for this multi column here. So this multi column here is visible on the desktop as you can see. So we want to hide this. So when I do the trick and reload the page, this one will be gone. But when I do like this, uh, inspect and switch to the mobile, this one should be visible again so it will only be hidden once i close this and get back to the desktop version so let's just do that as i said the second thing you're going to do is make sure to find the section and make sure you click on the whole section not an element on the section but actually the whole section just like i did right now and after you did so as always scroll down description box and you will see a link name it as code and simply click on it and it will take you to this page where you can find the code and it's completely free you don't have no pay please no share please nothing like that just the like button if this video helped you out so obviously you're going to select this code make sure to select the whole thing including these brackets here and right click and copy after that we will get back to the team customizer and as i said make sure you select in the section you want to implement the trick on and scroll all the way down on the left panel or the right panel sorry and click on the custom CSS option which is the last option on the right panel and it will show you this place where you can paste in some code and simply paste in the code that you did copy just like this oh wow did you see that the <laughs> the multi column section is gone let's just click on save button and show you that in action so Right now it's still visible. Let's just reload the page. Oh, no more. No more multi column as you can see. But if I did like this, right click and click on inspect so we can access the mobile version. Here is the multi column section as you can see. But if I close this, no more multi column section. That was easy, right? So that's how you hide a section only on the desktop for your Shopify store and as I said this trick will work for every Shopify team including the paid ones and if this video helped you out help me out pressing that like button I would appreciate it but for now I think my job is done so thanks for watching catch you on the next one